For nine years, the Wilkins made us laugh and think on America's favorite family sitcom, Bill Wilkins' Family Mechanic. During the taping of the final season, my crew and I were hired to shoot footage for a retrospective video to be shown before the series finale. Here's a clip from that retrospective. How do you feel uh, at the end of this nine year run? Uh, this nine year run has been nothing short than, well, spectacular. I could not be more sad to lose such close friends. I mean, we'll keep in contact, of course, but not seeing them every single day is just heartbreaking, heartbreaking. Um, that's really sad. Like, this is like my second family, you know? Like, I go home and I'm with my family and I come back and I'm with my family. But what our camera saw was something entirely different. All right, cut. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, that's a wrap, people. Good day. I have five words to show. What the fuck? You can't just let me say them? Oh, oh stage baby having a problem? Doesn't know when to be used to have his line spoken? Okay, how about you cry me a friggin' river? Someone okay. get tip of I, water. I, this is gonna water. be great. Mind my business. This is gonna be great. That's the most, I could say that every show, they work the same five words every show. And you, and you can't it just let needed. me say them. It wasn't needed. It was baloney. It was garbage. And who fucking sits this close anyway? Would you get on your side of the couch? What's it like being so closely associated with your character? It's it's really nice. Um, I get such pleasant comments from little kids when I go to the ice cream store. It's fine because it's like I'm always me. It's just like I'm always me, so it's almost like, like what's the big deal? Like I'm just always me, and if America gets to see that, like that's great for them. It's just so sweet to see little kids uh, tug on my sweater and um, say, "Hey." Hey, uh, I, I wish you were my mother. And that just, it warms my heart every single time. Um, okay, that's, uh, that's about all we have for you. Thank you so much, Ms. Shorewood. Oh, thank you so Good much boy. for having me. All right, thank you. That's about it. All right. We're done? Yep. Okay. Thank you so much. That's, uh, that's, that's great, Tiffany. Um, thank you. I could, but if you wanted to hear, like, the single, I could, like, just give you, like, a quick... No, that's, that's okay. We, Are we... you sure? Now I'm America's favorite mother, where all the children come up to me. Miss, Miss Wilkins. Miss Wilkins, we love you. We love you. You are the sweetest. I, I want to be just like you when I grow up. Fabulous. <laughs> you are so judgmental. No, this is hey, you I are not God. We are. You know who else is judgmental? Yeah, that guy right there. You've undergone a, a very public uh, spiritual change uh, since the beginning of the show. Uh, you were once a uh, motorcycle riding sort of Hollywood bad boy was your reputation. Uh, and, and now, very publicly, you've become a born-again Christian. Um, how, how has the cast uh, reacted to that change? Well, I, you know, I can't, I can't change the cast. Oh. No. You know, I've known Paula for a while now, but even before the show, we, uh, we knew each other. We did some off-Broadway stuff. And, um, but she's coming to a point when it's, it's starting to get a little, a little upsetting with some of the things I see her doing. Mm, don't get me started about Tiffany. Tiffany, Tiffany, Tiffany. Everyone loves Tiffany. Tiffany is a very interesting case. Um, with this public nudity, the public intoxication, the array of men being photographed outside of her house, going in and out at all hours of the night. Yes, get her Tiffany pearls. Don't worry about Paula, no. She's not important. She doesn't flash her titties on Lennon. Oh. I used to do that. Well, those were the days. Donald, uh, yes. Donald is perhaps maybe, um, <laughs> taking a few sips here and there. And, and Donald 
lying to everyone. Oh, you'll get your turn. Well, oh yes, Paula. We'll we'll clean your sheets. Well, last but not least, I guess Larry is uh, someone who. He's he's an up and comer, you know. His acne's left. He's starting to show some, some upper body strength and you know that's gonna be his curse you know that baby face was his golden ticket and guess what the big guy upstairs took that away from him oh that's great baby take a sip of mama's bottle yeah have fun with that you don't even know uh can i uh can i, can I help you with something um i'm here for my interview larry sorry sorry about this Larry, come on over. Hold on a second, Donald. He's gonna ask me a couple questions. No, no, no we're, gonna, I, I, we're I, gonna get to that. We just gotta talk about some stuff before you're in. I don't. Know. But I'm here. I'm I'm here and no, 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 on the couch. I, we need to, I love it. Here. I did this with everybody else, and now I've gotta talk to you about your interview before you have yours. I'm really sorry, but we gotta we we've come gotta on, clear the set go. here. Get I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For God damn it. Be a man, Larry. What the hell do you want, Donald? Larry, we need to talk. Listen. Yeah, we do. About this interview thing, all right? Um, you're not gonna get interviewed. Why not? Why not? Well, they had limited time, and you limited know. Limited time. I was right on the couch. You don't need it. You're going to school. How am I gonna go to school? Uh, we're paying your bills. My parents spent all my money. Well, you know what? It's not my fault that your parents spent all your money. You've got that behind you now, right? Yeah, but they fled the country. I know. Do you listen to anything I say? I Have you read one pamphlet that I've perhaps handed to you? No. I've handed you Who many. reads those pamphlets? No one reads Everyone those reads no those No one, no one reads your No one goes pamphlets. to church in this biz. Hey guys, you guys can stick around for a little bit longer. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm not really, you know, saying that this is... Yeah, actually, yeah, I am saying this is my church. I just want to hand out some pamphlets. Okay. Is that over? What do you want for lunch? Uh, yeah, what do I want for lunch? Let's see, what do we have here? What do we have on staff? Whatever you need. First, I would love an Evian. And don't fucking put Deer Park in it, because I can taste it. You know, I just want to give you this. This is going to take a little while. Don't feel like you need to rush into it. Digest that. Really? Seriously? You also. Don't feel like you need to cover this. They all have a script for you. Mm. Yep, yep, yep. And if I could have like a bowl of shrimp or something with lime on it, like from like an ocean somewhere or something, that'd be really beneficial for me. Um, um, is what? Which ocean? Yeah, that's not my job once again, okay? That's your job, right? Who's, who decided to change the color of my coveralls? We've, we've had the same, my, the same outfit for, for, for eight seasons now. This is, this is ridiculous. And just make sure that nothing's like, has any fat in it, okay? Okay, because I can't start looking, you know, Okay, I can't eat what you eat, right? I'm just saying, we shouldn't change the color. Anyone? No one else? Garbage. This is garbage. Hey. Hey. Yeah, hola. Did you get the uh, stuff? Did you get the stuff? Great. Just, you know where to leave it. Why are people tuning in? Let's all be honest here. Let's just all <laughs> be honest here. Yeah, they're right? hoping you'll flash something. Okay, Paul. Do you want to go? Yeah, I've got you go? crawling up my Heck arm yes, from sitting go. so close. If you had to say goodbye to the cast somehow, um, what would you say to them? Uh, you know, I've planned this out. You know, this is not something that's sprung on me. Uh, if I was going to say goodbye to the cast, I'd say simply the way that uh, my my family south of the border might say in my church, uh, vios con Dios, muchachos. <laughs> and uh, you're going to burn in hell for your sins.